pleasant good afternoon to you as we come to you live. The ACC Network Extra, the NCAA Soccer Championships in the women's side of the bracket as the Wolfpack of NC State host the Razorbacks of Arkansas from the SEC. Hello, everybody. I'm Chris Hooks as the first round of the NCAA Championships are underway. Here in Raleigh, we're just about set to get things rolling here as NC State and Arkansas will meet for the first time here in program history. In fact, for NC State, this is the first time these two teams, or for NC State, will host an NCAA championship game here at home. So a historic day for NC State women's soccer who comes in one of the hotter teams in the country uh, despite losing in the early rounds of the ACC championships more or less the semifinals. Uh, they had won six straight but prior to that match. So they come in as we look at the starting lineups. We'll start at the home team, NC State. Zierra King, one of the top players in the country. She's eighth in the country in goals and points with 14 goals and 34 points on the year. Number one in the ACC in that category as well. You see their starters. And then for Arkansas, a little bit of an interesting story for them. They come in. Uh, with a just above 500 record, but made a run all the way to the SEC championship game. And you look at their starting lineup, they're very young. Out of their goals this year, they've scored 43 as a team. 23 have come from the freshmen. And a name that you'll hear me say quite a bit today is on this starting lineup, number 22, Parker Goins, number four in the SEC in points. And she's also going to be helped out by Taylor Malum, another freshman. So a very young team that has started to figure some things out over the past few weeks. They finished 4-5-1 and one in the Southeastern Conference throughout the regular season. But again, made a run all the way to the SEC Championship game, beating some very, very good teams along the way. Uh, as you look at their record on the year, it is 11-10, but down the stretch in the tournament, they played Ole Miss, beat them 1-0, then beat South Carolina 1-0, the number three team in the country who was a number one seed in this NCAA tournament, then beat Vanderbilt in the semifinals to make it all the way to the championship game. They beat Vandy in penalty kicks 4-2 and then lost 2-1 to, to the 11th-ranked Aggies of Texas A&M. As we look at the bracket here, Princeton, a team that beat NC State earlier in the year advanced last night with a 4-0 win over Monmouth. So the winner of this one will take on Princeton on November 17th. And if Carolina, the Tar Heels at the bottom of the bracket, obviously if they hold for it and keep advancing, those contests will be in Chapel Hill. So State may not have to travel very far to uh, advance further in the NCAA tournament. And it's the team that last year in NC State that made it all the way to the Sweet 16 for the first time since 1996. So it should be a very interesting and fun contest here today. Very cool afternoon. This is where the sun here at Dale Soccer Field certainly helps out as we look at the game time temperature here today. And we are underway. NC State wearing the red kits with white shorts. Arkansas with the... White and Burgundy as the game time temperature, 44 degrees, and certainly glad you could join us here on the ACC Network Extra. NC State wearing their long sleeve jerseys here this afternoon, and deservedly so. It's kind of breezy at times, but again, the sun here at the stadium certainly helps out as far as how cold it is, and it being an early afternoon start also will it'll heat up a little bit. They're saying it might get to 50 degrees. The high today is supposed to be 47, uh, according to AccuWeather. So we're just underway. Again, NC State, Sydney Wooten. Great job this year in the net as both teams volleying to get things going early. Maxine Blackwood and King pinball it around, but it's challenged by Arkansas, and they're able to take it away. Porter slips, and Arkansas had it for a second, but unable to do anything with it. Now here's a turnover, Malum, she'll work it towards the middle, lofts a pass, has it right outside the box, Goins with it in the box, taken away and challenged greatly by Lulu Gutenberger and the pack averted danger there here in the first minute and a half. And Parker Goins, the Broken Arrow Oklahoma product, nine goals, seven assists, 
leads the team entering play today. Points, shots, shots on goals, assists, and shots as a whole. And it's cleared out. Nice job by the pack defense. There's another loft into the box, knocked away. King challenges Nice, and Nice was able to get it to the far side, but it was knocked out of bounds. And now Arkansas is going to get the first corner kick of the afternoon, and this is a team that can get them quite often, a very good offensive team heading into play today. They're very good at attacking and getting those penalty kicks. They were in the upper portion of the SEC this year in penalty kicks. And here comes the first attempt. It's lofted up and headed out by State, and that'll be a... Looks like there was a penalty, more or less a shove or an offsides of sorts. And so NC State averts danger there. But Arkansas, number one in the SEC this year in corner kicks, averaging six, a little over six a game. Very offensive-minded squad. And our goalkeepers very solid as well. A little outlet pass to Blackwood, misplayed. A little too much juice as it bounces off her. Nice lofts it forward and out of, out of bounds. NC State will get the throw in. So Abby Nice and Hannah. Siblings on the squad as King is knocked down. And that'll be Stephanie Doyle with the crime. And we're a minute and a little over almost three minutes, three and a half minutes into this first half here at Dale Soccer Park. Here's NC State with an opportunity on the attack past midfield. Griffiths out of the reach of Blackwood. She'll chase it down. And the Arkansas defense turns it over. And a challenge won by the Arkansas player there. And now but NC State able to get the Ball back, now they'll work it back to the midfield line. Got to find a hole in this Arkansas defense. Now try it on the far right side here. Porter, she's pushed a little bit, able to get away from that, but it was knocked away, and here comes Arkansas. That's lofted up, a well off sides there, Malum. 10 feet off sides, and that is called, and that will halt the attack there. But again, very aggressive by Arkansas, and that's going to be the case here all day long. NC State's got to be ready for it. Walkling, third team all ACC, lifts it forward to pass the midfield stripe. And now Wooten going to make Parker Goins chase after it. Now here's Rachel Cox. Cox tries a through pass, and it gets through. Here comes the pack. Up the field to Blackwood. Blackwood into the box. Tries to center it. Tries again. It's to King. King wide open. Score! King with the goal. That's 15 on the year. And that couldn't have come at a better time for NC State. Just about five and change in, and a beautiful pass by Blackwood. She stuck with it, and the Pack take a 1-0 lead here in the first half. That's her 23rd career goal here at NC State. Give her 36 points on the year, and she is certainly making a case for All-American honors as the red smoke Flies up, and NC State strikes first here this afternoon. What an absolutely beautiful play. And they're going to get another chance here as Malum tried to chase down Kalen Bach to no avail. Here's Wooten going to the right side. They've been going to the right side quite often here this afternoon is Rachel Cox. She goes back to Gutenberger. Now here comes Keo with it near side. 
Pacquiao back to Bach. Six minutes into this contest, NC State with a 1 0 lead. That one's lifted up. King settles it. She's able to retrieve it with all the real estate she had around her. Now she'll get it to the middle of the field and direct traffic. Griffiths back to the back line as Porter sets her up. Now to Gutenberger. Cox near the sideline. They're just pinballing it around as NC State with a 1 0 lead. I think they see something here. That one caroms off the head of Malum. Here's Guten, rather Wackling. That's up the field, headed back by Nice. Now here comes Griffiths. Just shy of the box. They're continuing to push forward. Walkling tries a through pass and it gets past King and that'll go out of bounds with a goal kick. But NC State certainly flexing their muscles here in Raleigh here in the first seven minutes with a 1-0 lead. Time of the goal was 5-14. And Maxine Blackwood with the assist adds to her point total on the year. Giving her five assists. And now five goals, five assists. For the junior from Somerville, New Jersey. And here comes Harris with the goal kick. Now, Schuster to Cox, and that's out of bounds off a Razorback, and it'll be NC State throw in on the far side. Schuster, there's Gutenberger, who made the all-freshman team for NC State. The freshman from Velberg, Germany, one of their top recruits. Top drawer soccer, ranked her 31st in the country. That one goes out of bounds. It'll be NC State throw in. State up one nothing. Arkansas tied Alabama this year in conference play at four five and one. In fact, only went one and four in their beautiful Razorback Field facility in conference play. And again, this is a team that went 18 five and one last year. Lost a lot of that talent, so a lot of young players have come in, and they're going to be a top 25 team moving forward. As head coach Kobe Hale, Colby Hale, excuse me, has revitalized this program. The year before he got to Arkansas, they went two and nine in the SEC. Since then, he has done a tremendous job with 68 wins to his credit. And it'll be a, another situational, well, it'll be another situation rather that'll see Parker Goins with the corner kick on the far side. And it's the team, again, I talked about earlier, number one in the SEC as far as corners. And they've scored 17 goals off of set pieces this year. Here's Goins. Puts a little twinge on that one, and it's going to be knocked away by the pack. Goins trying to keep it in, but Paige Griffiths comes and saves the day. Good job there by Ricky Walkling to at least hold her up. And then Griffiths comes in and drills it out. It'll be a throw in for Arkansas. We're in 10 minutes into this first half with the NC State Wolfpack leading one to nothing. And NC State entering play today ranked 21st in one poll, 23rd in another of an RPI entering the tournament at 30. So NC State again pinballing it around to get it out, and they will. Rachel Cox chasing it down, the defender for Arkansas. Misplays it, Rachel Cox nearly took it away. Arkansas averts major danger there. That would have been an easy breakaway situation for the Razorbacks. Malum's certainly not backing down her aggression. Nearly got herself with a chance to have it in the box. Up the field, they go to Cox. Cox had it knocked away. And now Walkling to Gert Gutenberger, and they play giveaway from Malum. And now here's Walkling up the field. 
Tries a through pass. Blackwood's there to keep it going. And that one goes out of bounds, belonging to the Razorbacks. Arkansas, as we said before, under head coach Colby Hale, has become a mainstay in the NCAA tournament. Fourth NCAA championship appearance in the last five years. In fact, since 2012, they've made the SEC championship game four times. 2012, 2013, 2014, and 2016. Looks like there was a collision and maybe an injured Razorback, maybe bumped knees. And we'll see who that is. That may be Parker Goins, and I don't think Arkansas will want that to happen. And she is visibly limping, but it looks like it's kind of calming down a little bit, so she may be able to recover and be just fine. There's a turnover by the pack. Kean had it taken away, though. Nice back kick by Walkling hits McKeon. Now it's Stephanie Doyle knocking it back away from King as we're coming up on the 13-minute mark of this first half. So it looks like Parker Goins is still limping. Trying to work out what happened. Looks like she may have collided knees with the fellow, uh, with an opponent. Now Reese, or rather Nice, clears it out. Bach. That's off of Sibley's head. That one's lifted forward. Goins chasing after it. Nice job by Sydney Wooten to hunt it down. And again, Goins still visibly in pain. NC State continues to work down the field as they tried to slip it into Blackwood, but it was behind her. But Walkling, or rather Griffiths, able to come up with the loose change. That one's kicked out of bounds and will belong to NC State on the throw in. There's Doyle and slid off her foot to Malum. Malum had it taken away by Griffiths. Porter, here's Cox. Cox boxing out her opponent. And that was none other than Abby Nice. And it goes out of bounds off of her. And it'll be a throw in. And that could be a storyline here today as Parker Goins just does not look 100% right. And she's one of their star players as a freshman. Again, I talked earlier, 25 points on the year, nine goals, seven assists entering play today. And it seems like she's starting to tough through it, though. There's Walkling, the third-team All-ACC member, up the field to Blackwood. Blackwood, like the point guard, gets it to King. King. As Keo on the far side, rather near side, just outside the box, centering to King. King's a magician with that soccer ball. We'll see if they can get her open here. There's a lofted pass that'll go to the far corner, rather as Blackwood to the near side, rather trying to keep it in, not able to do so. And it'll be a throw in. And we may have a substitution here in the ball game as Goins will come out. As Nayeli Perez, another freshman, will check in for Parker Goins here very early in the contest. And you know she's got to be frustrated as she tries to get worked out, whatever the problem is. And it could be a shin. I'm not quite sure what it is. She has her sock pulled down. And we'll see if she's going to be okay. Either way, NC State's up 1 0. As Nayeli Perez, the freshman from Tulsa, Oklahoma, comes in with six assists in her freshman season. Here's Schuster up to Blackwood. Blackwood had it taken away by the defender for Arkansas. It looked like that was Jesse Hartzler as Malum will try to chase it down. It'll be NC State throw in. You talk about the defender, Jesse Hartzler, a 5'8 senior from Kearney, Missouri. 
is now tied for second all time at Arkansas with now playing her 86th contest. She's on the back line, a very solid back line over the last few weeks for Arkansas. As they throw it into Blackwood, Blackwood backing down her opponent and try to slip pass to King and King could not get to it. In fact, Stephanie Doyle was right there. Now McKeon up the field. Here's Perez chasing down the ball, down the right side. That's lifted in the air and goes well over the net. Wooten played it nicely, but Perez gave it a shot. That was a nice play by Arkansas, McKeon. Great touch and found Perez streaking down the near side. So we're down to the 28th minute, down to 28 minutes to go in this first half. These two teams try to vie for advancement into the next round. NC State turns it over. That one's knocked off of King and Doyle. We'll get the throw in. We'll look at the bracket here. There's been a few SEC, ACC matchups. Florida State beat Ole Miss five to nothing. And they'll move on to take on Arizona in their next contest. Wake Forest won in penalty kicks last night against Georgetown and they'll move on. As Penn State will be their next opponent. Penn State beat Stony Brook seven to nothing. Penn State one of the top seeds in that bracket. As NC State charging up the field. And Reese Christofferson intercepts the pass. And they tried to get it on a transition down the other side. But Arkansas NC State also represent a SEC ACC matchup. The other one was Clemson and Alabama. Clemson won that one. So the ACC now 2-0 against the SEC in the NCAA tournament. At least this season. There's a volley for it. And a good job there by Abby Neese to knock it away from Paige Griffiths. Both teams possessing it rather well at this point. NC State has seemed to have a little bit more as far as the offensive attack going here through the first 20 minutes. They pinball it around. Keo centering. That's intercepted. Christofferson up the field. That's going to go to Sibley. Sibley to the outside to Malum. Malum hits the brakes, trying to shake free of Keo, and Keo bodies are out. And it'll be a goal kick. What a defensive play there by Keo. Just dominated Malum there. And that was a freshman, Malum, battling a junior in that situation. And Keo was not going to be denied as far as keeping her from getting a decent look at the at the goal. So Clemson, as we talked about beating Alabama last night, two to one. They will play Texas, who beat North Texas three to nothing. We'll see if we have some updated scores for you, at least games that are going on right now. Nice header by Cox as Blackwood. A little bit too much mustard on that tip back to Griffiths. And Arkansas ended up with it. Now Arkansas gets it back. Porter able to keep that one and get in the way of that pass and will settle it back up. As we look at the Tar Heels of North Carolina, down the road in Chapel Hill, up on high point, one to nothing. Is we're at 18.50 to go in the first half. The 
And the Tar Heels, the number one seed in this region. In this portion of the bracket beat NC State 1-0 in the semifinals of the ACC tournament. As Blackwood collided with Hartzler. As the goal for Carolina was scored by Abby Alinsky. And they lead it 1-0 in the first frame. That's over at Fetzer Field. Actually, that is not over Fetzer Field. That should be over at the Wake Med Soccer Park because that facility is under a major, major overhaul. That'll be a beautiful facility for the Tar Heels when they get that completed. There's Keough at the 23-15 to go. 23 and a quarter to go in this first half. NC State leading 1-0 as Malum. Trying to challenge Wooten there, just at least give her something to think about when clearing the ball out of the box. Porter falls down, has it turned over. Doyle weaving through traffic. And Keon to Malum. Malum back turn, trying to catch the corner. King casually gets around her, and she will lose that battle there. Here comes King now in transition. There's Walkling. Walkling. Just had a six cents about her. Stopped on a dime. As Reed Sibley just went right by her. Now NC State on the attack. Here's Griffiths. Back to Schuster. Schuster centers it to Blackwood. Now Schuster just outside the box. Lost track of it and turned it over. And we go the other way. Up the field to Malum. Malum plays it off her body. And now we'll center it. Walkling chests it down. Some other scores for you in the NCAA tournament. Missouri State trailing Oklahoma State. 1-0 in the first half as well. South Florida on top of Florida Gulf Coast. 1-0. That's midway through the first half. Some ACC games of interest coming up later today. As there will be a whistle blown there. Blackwood shoved from behind by Hartzler. Hartzler, a very aggressive defender, and you're seeing why she's been so successful as a Razorback. But tonight at 7 o'clock down the road in Durham, Duke number one in their bracket at 19-2 and two on the year will host UNC Greensboro in their first-round matchup in Durham. Here's Cox. Here's Griffiths. Cox. Nearly had it knocked away. Good job there by Porter, keeping it away from Taylor Malum. Here comes Keo Walkling, finding her way through. Centers it to Blackwood, back to Walkling, but away from her it goes. And now Malum, surrounded by Porter, stops on a dime there. And that will get through, and Kaylin Bach will chase it down. Notre Dame, who NC State beat in the Opening round of the ACC tournament here in Raleigh. We'll host IUPUI tonight at 6 p.m. in South Bend. Virginia also, I forgot to mention them, they have a 7 o'clock tilt against St. Francis later on today. Virginia 11 and 5 on the year and is also the three seed in their portion of the bracket. So here's Keo up the field to King. King already has one. Can she make it two? Outside the box she goes. Leaves it for Kehoe, challenged by Arkansas and off the foot and out of bounds. Doyle did a good job there of making a defensive play there off of Kehoe. And I don't think King was happy with where she left it. Blackwood positioning herself from Walkling now to Blackwood. Blackwood misplays it, but it somehow worked in her favor. But a good job there by Hannah Neese, the senior from Argyle, Texas. And that one will trickle down the near sideline. As Paige Griffiths and the pack lead it one to nothing 
We're coming up on the 19-minute mark of this first half. First time NC State's ever hosted an NCAA championship match here in Raleigh. So you can tell Tim Santoro's really building this program in the right direction. As Walkling has some real estate, through pass right to King, absolutely gorgeous. Here she comes, just a walking down the street. She's tripped up, somehow keeps it alive, but I think they're gonna call a handball as it bounced off her hand as she was falling down. So a tough break there for her, but again, you can tell Arkansas was just scurrying back to try to stop her. And we'll have to see if Parker Goins will be coming back in to the match. It looks like NC State will make some midway through the first half subs. And that one's drilled and off the head of Keo, and Porter will chase it down with Perez right on her back. And Perez knocks it out of bounds off to the far side, and there will be a goal kick as we stop play to make some substitutions here. See, one of them is Ella Bonner that has entered in. Um. Looks like Francis Henshaw also in, and Kia Rankin. Rankin will come in for Maxine Blackwood. So Bonner, Henshaw, and Rankin in for the pack here in the first half. We haven't seen Colby Hale make any substitutions yet other than Parker Goins leaving the match. We'll see if she's back in. There's an offside call. Arkansas. Already a number of offsides here today was number one in the SEC this past year in that category, averaging two a game. 47, this was back before at the end of the SEC tournament. So again, very aggressive offensive style. Sometimes works in their favor, sometimes not. Got to kind of push the envelope in soccer because it's, it's a human judgment on offsides. And another flag being raised. That'll be an offsides called again on Taylor Malum. And again, NC State shifted up right as she was trying to get back. There's Walkling. Lots of real estate for Keo. Keo lifts it all the way down outside the box. And that'll be knocked out of bounds. Cleared by Hartzler, and it'll be NC State throw in. And you're gonna see King moving over to the corner. They try to spread out here. Rankin will post up in the box. And they'll go to King and she'll try to get around. King centers it to Rankin. That's up in the air. Rankin will challenge the loose ball, but it'll go in favor of Arkansas. Perez off her head. Nice carom by Porter. Little back kick by King, no one home. And here comes Malum, Walkling chasing her down. That's up the field to Perez. Arkansas trying to make an attack of it here. Perez, she'll try to get around and a great defensive play by Gutenberger as she will force the corner kick. That'll be the third one of the afternoon for the Razorbacks. Under 15 minutes here in this first half. Glad you could join us here on the ACC Network Extra. 2017 ACC Championships. As you'll see, Hannah Neese with the corner for the Razorbacks. The arm is raised, lifted up, line drive, headed up, shot, and just missed a goal there. It hits the outside of the net. And Arkansas missed an opportunity there. Sidney Wooten had the corner, but still a nice shot. And that looked like it was Keo who took the shot for the Razorbacks. 
So three offsides today. As Rankin was hit in the head by Christofferson accidentally as they were both battling for the header. Here's Ella Bonner. Her first action here today. Bonner, one of the defenders, 5'7", junior from Chesapeake, Virginia. There's a loose ball in the middle of the field. Nice job by Christofferson. Jockeying for position, player down for Arkansas. Up the field to Perez. Perez trying to save it, and it rolls out of bounds. Too much juice on that. And the injured player seemed to be just fine. And Wooten with the goal kick. Walkling settles it very nicely. Nice receive there by Bonner. Bonner nearly had it taken away. She stays with it. She'll speed up the far sideline. That's intercepted. Looks like that was Christofferson for the Razorbacks. It's lifted up. Malum, one of the top freshmen on this team, but they have looked a shell of themselves with Goins having to go out at the 30-minute mark of this first half, what looked like either a knee or a leg injury. And there's Walkling, lifts it up for King. King settles it down, has two players around her. She's able to keep track of it as her and Doyle battle for it. And that goes out of bounds off of NC State, and the faithful here not too happy about that. Very physical play by Doyle, but I'm sure it was, again, as King knocks down Malum. Malum seems to be in pain. That looked pretty clean to me. I think the refs just kind of had to let that one go. Here's Bonner. Not a Walkling. Walkling. There's Keo streaking down the side, centering to Walkling. Walkling, like the quarterback in the middle. Finds Rankin, Rankin, a little give and go situation here. Keo outside the box. Aaron Malum battling for it, nobody. The ref saying play on, but Keo stays with it. Passes into the right side. Here's Schuster, what a save by Jordan Harris. Wow. Talk about a turn of events. Keo stayed with it. Found Schuster on the far right side, but Jordan Harris had the angle, and got the save and forced the corner kick, the first one of the afternoon for NC State. We're down to a little less than 11 minutes here as you see the replay. Schuster had an opportunity. Here's the left-footed entry on the corner. King back to the goal. Here's a shot, and that is just out of the reach of Henshaw. And I believe that was either Keo who took the, and I guess they'll call it, it was a lob. And she tried to feed it into the box, and it was just out of the reach of Henshaw, and it'll go out of bounds, a goal kick for the Razorbacks. The NC State's had some pretty nice opportunities here today, and it's all based on the effort. They have just out-efforted Arkansas to this point. Harris as some clutching, grabbing, pushing, and shoving going on. A ref finally had enough and blows the whistle. Your officials today, the head referee is Brandon Marion. Benjamin Wooten is the assistant referee. And Robert Velbus is the other assistant referee. And so there's a free kick. There's a wide open Razorback on the far side, and they'll get it to her. Trying to set piece here. King, as her and 
The Razorback, Kanata, were jockeying. King able to get her out of it, make a good defensive play. I'm sure Arkansas thinks that was a trip, but both of them were battling. And their feet got tangled up. Here's Keogh. That'll be intercepted by Doyle. King was right there, but Doyle beat her to it. That one's up the field where Wooten able to track it down as she will hurl it to the far side of Bonner. And they'll attack again on the right side. Here's Schuster. Schuster had it knocked away. And now Perez, that goes off her shin and out of bounds, and it'll be a throw in for the pack. And the 36th minute of this first half, with the pack leading at 1 0. Bounds now belonging to NC State. Uh, went off of McKeon. Again, a sophomore, one of the youngsters on this team as well. Started and played in all 22 matches to this point, or 23. Here's Wooten, challenged by Malum, but she didn't really seem to be affected there. And that'll belong to Arkansas. Schuster thought different of it. That's tipped forward by Schuster into Christofferson. He was able to get it to the far side, entered it in just outside the box to Malum. And we're down to the seven minute mark. And if I'm NC State, as, as aggressive and as persistent as the attack is for Arkansas, as Perez, little turnaround sw swift kick. Really no worse for wear, or rather, for Wooten, but they're certainly going to keep at it. They're going to keep pushing the envelope here offensively, trying to get something going as Malum nearly got to the ball that Wooten was trying to kick. Either way, NC State. Keeping Arkansas off the board, nothing too serious in that situation. So we're down to 6.20 to go here in this first half. Here's Bach. And Kalen Bach, one of the many all-ACC academic folks on this team. He's a senior from right here in Raleigh and enjoying some history here today. Here's Walkling up the field. Rankin nearly if Christofferson, or rather that's, that was – Kanata, who was able to knock the ball down. Had that not been knocked down, Rankin could have had an opportunity to score. Here's Keogh. Keeps off Doyle. Doyle was charging after that centering pass. But Keogh turns it over, and Perez will lift it forward. Here's Malum. Malum chasing it down, but a great job by Kalen Bach to knock it out of bounds. And Arkansas will get the throw in with 5.30 to go. Doyle with the throw in. Sibley lost control of it. Has ranking to Walkling. Walkling's so good. She's kind of directing traffic. To me, I feel like she's the point guard of this team when she gets it. And she'll work it down the field. Tries a quick pass. Doyle intercepting it. Lakio right there. There's Kanata, intercepted, here comes again, another turnover. Henshaw charging ahead just outside the box. Here's Rankin, beautiful pass. Rankin shooting one, and that'll be, it was outside anyway, but Jordan Harris was there to make the stop. But again, another solid attack by NC State. And that punt goes straight in the air, and that one Touched by nobody. Here's King chasing it down. King will go to the back line to reset. And we'll see if NC State goes again back to the far right side. 
And even though the ball was on the near side, they have gone right quite often. Here's Gutenberger. Inshaw. Knock from behind. Arkansas possession. Bonner intercepts the pass. She'll charge forward. Everyone seemed to pause for a second. Now Gutenberger. And Wooten now with it with 3.40 to go here in this first half. Wooten. She's just kind of toying with Arkansas, asking them to attack. And she'll leave it out for them. As a through pass that Bonner clears out of bounds. As we come near the end of the first half in Chapel Hill. The Tar Heels on top 2-0. And if both these teams, both State and Carolina, continue to win, they'll meet not too long from now. There's a volley in the box. Wooten punches it out. What a play. Headed back in by Arkansas. Centering pass. Nothing doing there. Misplayed. As Katie Kinstra, who has entered into the contest, the senior from St. Louis, Missouri, Wipe down the ball as it must be scuffed up a little bit. And she'll try the handspring throw in as Rankin knocked down. I have to say I've never in my time watching soccer never seen it in competition. That's pretty cool to see. One fifty-three to go in this first half. In Shaw, McKeon just grabbing her. No call there. You're letting them play. As Wooten gets one high in the air, King lets it bounce and kind of sets herself up to defend it. As that one cleared out of play by Doyle. So down to a minute and a half in the first half. If the Tar Heels win, they will play the winner of Colorado and Denver. We're down to a minute and 15 here in the first half. Arkansas trying one last attempt here to try to get on the board. But they're doing all this without their superstar freshman, Parker Goins. So we're down to a minute. Here comes Kinstra. She's going to try another flip throw in. And the pack. Able to see it, take care of it, clear it out. Now Kinstra back with 45 seconds left. Shanks it right of the goal and out of bounds. So a goal kick for the pack with 40 seconds to go. So 20 seconds to go in the first half. Porter, Bach, and that'll be out of bounds. And that will do it for the first half here in Raleigh. And the first ever contest here in Raleigh as far as NCAA tournaments are concerned with NC State hosting it. It was an early goal by Zierra King, a big one at that, as they lead it one to nothing here through the first half of play. We'll be right back as we'll get you set for the second half. NC State up one to nothing right here on the ACC Network Extra.
here at the half. Here's some highlights of the first frame. NC State faced some daunting situations early. As again, the pack were able to thwart that off. And then here were some quality chances by the pack. They came back and certainly put them on notice early on with the first goal. But again, you look at the shots on goal situation, both at four. Here's Rankin with an opportunity here as the pack again find themselves up one to nothing here in the first frame. As we take a look at the stats here in the first half, and shots on goal, 4-3 in favor of Arkansas. Well, shots totally, it's tied at four. Shots on goal uh, for NC State leading that one two to one. And again, you talk about and I've mentioned in the broadcast about Arkansas, uh, one of the top teams in the SEC as far as getting the corners. They've got a lot of corner kicks. They've got three here in this first half, so they will be even more aggressive in this second stanza down one to nothing uh, here in the first half. So, again, uh, NC State doing a great job getting that first goal and have had even more opportunities, just simply haven't been able to come through. We'll see. As far as the second half goes, if uh, Parker Goins will be back for Arkansas at any point, we'll see again how that all plays out. Let's take a look at the top 10 ACC teams in regards to RPI. Again, a very top-heavy conference. You look at you know, the teams that all made the NCAA tournament. You look at Carolina, who is taking on high point right now. Duke, who will take on – who will take on – uh, their first round opponent in just a bit. They will battle UNC Greensboro later on tonight. Notre Dame playing as well this evening. Florida State victorious in their first round game. Virginia playing on later on today. But NC State 30th as far as RPI goes. Clemson who won yesterday against Alabama. Wake Forest who advanced as well on penalty kicks over Georgetown. So, again, this league very, very tough. And to see NC State, I'm sure for their sake and their fans, very happy to see them starting to climb the charts. 14 wins this year under Tim Santoro. SEC, exactly the same. Look at every single team in that list made the NCAA tournament. And South Carolina, Texas A&M, Florida feel like they have great chances to make it all the way to Orlando. And South Carolina uh, was upset by this Arkansas team in the SEC tournament. So it'll be very interesting to see if Arkansas can get back in this one or to see how the rest of the conference does throughout the NCAA championships. Here at the half is, again, you look at the bracket. NC State up one to nothing here. Carolina up on high point two to nothing. And you'll see Colorado and Denver uh, taking on one another in mere moments. As, again, those two squads, State and Carolina, could meet up in the regional final later on in November. We're at the half here in Raleigh. Dale Soccer Park, NC State leading one to nothing here in the first round of the NCAA championships. We'll continue on on the ACC Network Extra as we get set for the second half. One, Welcome back two, to okay. Dale Soccer it's, Park. It's just really low. NC yeah. State yeah, one, and two, Arkansas one, meeting two. for the first time yeah, yeah, yeah. as these two programs try to buy to see who will yeah. advance so to the next round right of yeah. the NCAA yeah. championships. One, two, one, NC State one, two. hosting yeah, the first totally round up. matchup for the first time in program history. Looking to make back-to-back -back Sweet 16 one, appearances, two, but they got to get two, through this yeah, one so first. It, 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 the this winner will yeah, take on seeing, Princeton. See it low high. Yeah. So low, low is fine. Um, Six I'm days from now. That right there. That's that. Oh, it was that, that Sierra King's 15th goal of the year that's to put the pack up one to nothing. And that's where we stand. We're just one, about two, to get things one, going. Two. Both teams huddling up. And the pack cable. on your yeah, left yeah, side yeah. of your screen okay. wearing the red tops, their kits, white, red and white. As Arkansas one, is two. going with Super. their kit being white and more of a burgundy. In yeah. 
one, two. You know, there's a number of schools in the SEC that have a burgundy or maroon. And we'll see again if Hannah Goins, or rather Parker Goins, is going to be back out here for the second half, and it doesn't look like she will. She is not in the lineup to start off. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. See, like, as I'm switching the ball. And their colors are actually cardinal and white. As we're underway, Parker Goins not in the lineup. They're going to see Naeli Perez still in the contest. So Goins looks like she may be done for the day. We'll see. That remains to be seen as we're underway. NC State up 1-0, looking to advance to the NCAA tournament second round. They'll face Princeton if that's the case. And if Carolina, the Tar Heels, win, the North Carolina Tar Heels, who are currently up 2-0 on High Point, that match should take place in Chapel Hill. So the Pack won't have to travel very far. Or Arkansas if they come back here in this second stanza. So it looks like everybody's the same as far as starting lineups except for Arkansas's change for Perez as Rachel Cox to Walkling. Walkling. In the middle, pushing it up. Now working towards the left side. The lone goal scorer of the day has the ball. That's Zierra King, 15 on the year, 36 points. Leading the Wolfpack, one of the top 10 scorers in the country. As the lineups again, it'll be, we'll start with Arkansas, Kanata, Malum, McKeon, Sibley, Hartzler, Doyle, Christofferson, Perez, Nice and Nice. Turnover, we'll see Arkansas with the ball. But a missed fire on the pass, intercepted by Taylor Porter. For NC State, again, your goalie for Arkansas, Jordan Harris, very solid first half. Despite the one goal, here's Cox working towards the middle. Chased down by Kanata, but she's able to get rid of it before Kanata can challenge. Now Schuster. Schuster had a golden opportunity to score in the first half. She may get another here. And it's lifted, and she'll stay on sides. Schuster keeps it back in. Blackwood now to Cox. Here's Cox. There's a through pass. Nice job, Arkansas, to get right there and keep it away. So it's King, Schuster, Keogh, Gutenberger, Walking, or rather Walkling, Blackwood, Porter, Cox, Griffiths, and Bach for NC State with Sidney Wooten, the goalkeeper. Here's Blackwood posting up the defender for Arkansas. That one's lifted into the mitt of uh, Harris. No problem there for the goalkeeper. The Las Cruces, New Mexico redshirt junior. She'll put toe to the ball. And that'll be up the field, nearly a golden opportunity for Arkansas, but a great job by Gutenberger to thwart that attack away. Sibley was chasing it down. Here's Bach. Bach. She'll work through traffic. Schuster, near side, challenged and tripped by Nice, but it'll be a turnover. Here comes Sibley. Sibley charging through the middle. And she'll hurl one with a little steam, not much. And Wooten will gather it up, no problem. Wooten looking for another shutout here today on the year. Wooten, very impressive resume here. One of her best season. She has recorded eight shutouts this year. Third in the ACC in that category, 39th in the country, and has 17 shutouts in her career. Here come the pack. They're inching towards the box. King, very dangerous with it to the middle. Blackwood in the box. Back out to Keogh, centering to King. King trying to work through. Shot. Goal! How did she get that off? I have no clue. Two to nothing. King is queen here in the first round. Her second goal of the afternoon, and she is close to the Hattie. 
Watch the replay here. Just stellar, stellar goal. Again, stuck for a second with two players on her and just ripped it. Unfurl the red smoke and the pack really have stuck and dropped the hammer right on the Razorbacks. Just five minutes less than that into this second half. Perez, nice job to keep that in front, but NC State was right there and ready to keep it up. It's Paige Griffiths, nice job by Blackwood getting through the traffic on the near side. King looking for the hat trick. I'm not wearing a hat, but I'd throw it if I have one if she gets one in. Here's King from outside the box, finding Walkling. There's Keogh back to Walkling. Walkling, Griffiths tangled up. Malum able to get it away, but NC State maintains possession. Here's Griffiths charging through, finds the seam. Off the leg of a defender. Looks like Hartzler put the stop to that attack there. And Walkling just weaving her way through. She just finds her way around no problem. There's Schuster. Cox. Cox, one of the few players for NC State wearing gloves. As Cox. She kept it in, but no one home, and we play on. So Zierra King, Keogh got the assist on that one. So you had to Keogh's numbers on the air. Keogh with 16 helpers in her career. And this is the team that is hitting on all cylinders right now. Despite the one nothing loss to Carolina in the semifinals of the ACC tournament, they are playing some good, good soccer. And here they go, back to the far side to attack and add to that two nothing lead. Here's Griffiths. Here's Taylor Porter, very solid first half from her. She'll work it to the middle now to Griffiths. Griffiths feeds it far side, Keogh. King, King, give and go to Keo. back to King. King, he's a wizard with that soccer ball sometimes. And Porter mishandles it, and Doyle able to get it away. Here's Griffiths, up the field, that was, that was Bach. Porter she tries to spin out of it, but it's knocked away by McKeon. Here comes Sibley. Charging behind her is Walkling. Up the field to Malum. Malum has a chance here. Got around. Wooten got a hand on it. And she's able to get back. Here's Malum. Still in the box. Centering pass. Knocked away by Porter. Malum back with it. As Malum trying to pull down the defender with her. No call. The ref says play on. Arkansas attacking. Knocked away by Gutenberger. Great defensive series by NC State. That was the best chance of the day for the Razorbacks trying to stay in this contest. Here's Doyle. She'll unfurl one. And it's blocked in Karams and bounces right to Sidney Wooten. As Doyle tried to crank one out. And it was a good defensive play by the Pack. So we're eight minutes into this second half, and the Pack lead it 2 nothing. If this holds serve, they'll face Princeton on November 17th. And it looks like we may have a substitution in just a second for NC State. And you got to hate it for Arkansas. Parker Goins, I was looking forward to seeing her. She got 15 minutes of action and then. Now again, there is no one warming up for Arkansas at this point. But that doesn't mean she won't come back in. A lot of those young ladies are in jackets, so they take off the jacket and go warm up as they will get the free kick. Again, this is a team in Arkansas, very good offensively. 
But the pack thwarts off the attack here. They've got a rally going here as Cox chased down from behind by Abby Neese. A nice job of Arkansas. That could have been bad. As Sibley had it taken away by Schuster. That's cleared back to Wooten. Now to Gutenberger as the pack will try to get another rally going here. And up the field, Nice centering. Now Perez, Doyle stops on a dime to Perez, give and go, knocked away by Kalen Bach. Here's Walkling as that was cleared to her on the left side. King, King charging to the middle, gets past the defender. It's a foot race to the middle of the field. She got there. Now she's surrounded, tips it forward, and that'll be an offside on Maxine Blackwood. Just a smidge ahead. And we're at the 54th minute of the match. South Carolina in the SEC won the regular season championship, obviously. They will be a number one seed. They are in the tournament. They beat Alabama State three to nothing. And they will play Wisconsin in the next round in Columbia. Florida beating South Alabama three to one. They advance, they'll face the winner of the Florida Gulf Coast South Florida matchup. And here comes Griffiths. Lots of room to the near side. Schuster, Cox, trying to get to the middle. Nice job by Kanata to cut her off. They battle for it. One by Arkansas. Doyle, too much to the outside there. Keo playing keep away now. Walkling, clears it to the near side. Schuster, good job. Nice tap to the middle. She's got a seam, has numbers. She'll let it ride. Jordan Harris says, I don't think so. Nice save. There's Walkling finding another hole. She'll push it down the middle. Back to King. King looking for the hat trick. Nice defensive play there. Good job there by, looks like Nice was the one that thwarted it away. Bach, Keo. And now that'll find Sibley. Sibley getting it to the outside of the box. Malum, Perez, Perez stops, gets it back to the middle. That one's knocked away. Wooten didn't want a corner kick, so she chases it down and keeps it in. We keep playing, 32 and change left in this match. In at the 54th minute in Morganton, Morgantown, West Virginia, as the Mountaineers lead Bucknell two to nothing. They're a two seed. They'll play the winner of Rutgers and LaSalle, former Big East opponents. As Wooten clears it out, Doyle trying to get chase, but she'll give it up for Nice. And there's. Walkling who will clear it away. Hartzler will push it forward past the midfield stripe. Nice tried to back up to set up, but it bounced off her foot. And Cox able to come away with it. Now the pack will push it. Baylor who made it all the way to the Big 12 championship contest and actually won it. They will take on Rice, beating them. They'll take on the winner of USC and Eastern Washington in their next round. Duke, who played tonight against UNC Greensboro, I mentioned earlier, will play the winner of Oklahoma State and Missouri State, as Oklahoma State with a 1-0 lead there in the second half. Blackwood keeping it in, barely, as Schuster centering to Walkling. And Walkling... Just working it towards the middle. Griffiths, lob pass to the far side. Too much juice on that when it goes out of bounds. 
Auburn advancing with the win over Hofstra. They'll play the winner of Stanford and Utah Valley as the Cardinal trying to knock out the Wolverines of Utah Valley. Here's Schuster. In Arkansas. Went 18-5 and five last year. Entering tournament play here today is the lowest seed ever to reach the final of the SEC tournament. As a little jostling going on. Pack fans want a foul. Here's Malum and Schuster. Centering pass by Malum. Gutenberger able to clear it out as Schuster is. She seems to be fine. And we'll see if they make the substitutions that they are planning on. As King, see her on the far side getting some water, and she'll run back as there's another corner kick for Arkansas. Perez to do the honors. Here's Perez, nice looking kick, headed up. Doyle tried to kick it towards the net, but Schuster able to get it away. And now Sibley turns it over nearly, but now she will. Porter wide open and an offsides called on Rachel Cox. You could see it coming a mile away. Tough break for NC State. She. Had she stayed on side, she would have waltzed in. Either way, missed opportunity there by both teams. Here's Schuster. In the 62nd minute of the match, NC State with a 2 0 lead. Here's Porter, nice job over to Keough. Keough, the midfield stripe. Porter, up the field to Griffiths, taps it quickly to King. Here's another opportunity for her here. She's bullying her way in, and a worm burner into the midst of Jordan Harris to no avail. And I wonder if she feels like she took that a little too early as Harris lifts that one and NC State now on the attack again. King by herself on the far side. Nice trying to toy her and bait her to go to the outside. Keo aggressively comes up outside the box. Here's King. King, a little through pass. Keo in the box they go. Here's a battle for it. Centering to Griffith. Shot! Scores! What an absolutely beautiful setup by NC State. And it's three to nothing. Griffiths puts it in the back of the net. Her fourth of her career. And the Pack have literally put this one in the no doubt range with 27 and change to go. As Hannah Keo with another helper. 17 helpers for her this year. Keo's third goal, or rather Griffith's third goal of the year. And the pack with a 3-0 lead here as we come down the back stretch of this contest. Absolutely beautiful play by the pack. And it looks like Parker Goins has returned to the match. Good for her. She seems to be okay. I'm just glad it was nothing major for her sake. She's had a great freshman season. You'd hate to see it end on the, in the NCAA tournament 15 minutes in. And the pack with a 3-0 lead, trying to add to it here, keeping the gas going. 
As a famous state fan said in a video on Instagram and Twitter, all gas, all day. Twenty-six thirty-five to go in the match. We're in the 63rd minute here in Raleigh. NC State leading three to nothing, but Arkansas on the attack. One of the top scoring teams in the SEC, certainly not going to back down as Malum's centering pass knocked away as Parker Goins will retrieve the throw in. Be knocked out by the pack. Chasing it down is Griffiths, but a nice centering pass. And that will be misplayed on the bounce. And it looked like that was Abby Nice, who was responsible for two goals here in her freshman season. Her first came in a 6 1 win against Abilene Christian. And then she capped off a win against Kentucky earlier this year with a goal herself. There's Wooten's long ball, Blackwood. Actually, that's Kia Rankin who's back in. Pardon me there. Francis Hidshaw is also back in for the pack. As Ballum had it taken away by Walkling. Walkling was down for a second. As Walkling trying to chase down Doyle, and the pack defense is right there. Four Wolfpack defenders are in that box, and Arkansas has not been able to penetrate much all day. There's Goins, the sensational freshman. See if she can't get going. Goins centering pass, knocked away. Malum has it. She's got a chance here. What a save! As Sidney Wooten says, no, no, no. As Malum did a nice job on a pinpoint turnaround. And Wooten given more frustration to the Razorbacks. And King had it go off her thigh as Rankin knocked down Kanata, and we go the other way. There's a beautiful set piece knocked away by the pack as Malum tried to attack on that one. Here's Walkling. Up the field she goes to King. King, two goals already today. You'd love to see a hat trick here. That's up the field to Griffith. She's got one as well. But Hartzler says she's not happening on that occasion as Doyle with it on the far side, centering. They keep it in, but there's Henshaw knocking it away. On the attack come NC State. And a shot attempt by Rankin. Not one of her better ones, but she'll nonetheless count that as a shot on her total as Harris off her head. Malum tips it to Goins. Goins chasing it down. Goins, nice job keeping it in. Goins centering. And Wooten's right there. In the 67th minute here this afternoon, the pack lead it three to nothing. Two goals by Zierra King, one by Paige Griffiths. King up the field to Rankin. Rankin centering and Hartzler's there for the takeaway. Malum up to Doyle, but Gutenberger has a solid job covering her. Looks like we may have a couple more substitutions for the red and white of NC State. And there's Wooden. That goes off the shoulder of Hannah Reese. And it'll be NC State ball. And we'll see if who the subs are. Looks like Maxine Blackwood will come in for Rachel Cox along with Mikhail Johnson, 
So Maxine Blackwood, who does have an assist today, back in the junior from Somerville, New Jersey. And Michael Johnson. Making her 12th appearance of the year. Very speedy youngster. Freshman from Williamsburg, Virginia. Here's Rankin. Bonner charging down the near side. Bonner. And we'll see if that gets a corner. It will not. And no. I think it's a goal kick. And there is an injured Razorback on the field. And it looked like. That was one of the Reese sisters, Abby, the freshman. Might have stepped wrong or turned an ankle. She seems to be just fine. That is Harris. Here in the 68th minute. Trying to get. Find a way to get NC State, or rather Arkansas, back in it as Parker Goins will get the throw in. And Doyle will watch the ball go out of bounds. Nice job for Arkansas's sake to get it quickly down the field. So we can't catch up on some more scores around the country. West Virginia also up 3-0 in the second half, around the same time left. Tar Heels still leading 2-0 against High Point. And here's the throw in by Kinstra. And that was pretty well placed. That's centered in the air, headed. Kinstra centering it off the carom. Shot just wide and goes out of bounds. Very quick action, pinballing around, and NC State dodges a bullet there. Here's the replay. As you watch the header go back to Kinstra, Bonner knocked it, and it looked like that was Abby Reese who was able to take the shot. But it went wide, and the pack still lead it 3 to nothing, and the shutout still intact. Here's King, a couple of both NC State and Arkansas players missed the goal kick that was bouncing their way as Henshaw and a Razorback get tangled up. I think it was Nice that, now that was Doyle who was tangled up. They both fell. Bonner knocked away from or by Goins and that'll be out of bounds just by inches. And so it'll be NC State with the throw in as we come down the back stretch here. Here's Goins centering to McKeon, but Walkling's right there. Doyle, nice move. Stops on a dime. Here's Malum. Malum in the middle is going to be crowded by a host of Wolfpack defenders and the ball knocked out. Arkansas continuing to push the agenda here down three nothing as we get under the 18 minute mark of this match. In the 70 plus minute range, NC State trying to hang on as Kinstra will try the flip throw in, having to move the Banners and throws it right in to the netting. She did it with authority. And now the young ball girl for NC State gets a standing ovation for moving it back. <laughs> and so Chrissy Schuster has entered back in for NC State. As Kinstra, again in for Arkansas. Keogh. 
and company trying to add to the lead as Schuster was the one who knocked it back towards NC State's side. At Keogh trying to chase it down now. Here's Doyle centering. That's off of Porter and out of bounds belonging to the Razorbacks. And there's a ball trickling from Kinstra to Wooten. Not really a viable threat there in NC State. Keeps the shutout where it is here at this point. And there's a little tip by Schuster to Walkling. Centering to Henshaw, knocked away. It was knocked away by McKeon. And now here's Goins. She's got some room in the middle. Goins. And that caroms off of a Wolfpack player. And Goins will head over and take the corner kick. Parker Goins left with 30 minutes to go in the first half with there's either a shin or a leg injury. And she is back in. Here's the corner. It looks like a very long tip. Wooten punches it out. Gutenberger knocks it out, and it'll be a throw in for Arkansas. As we're coming down the stretch, we're at the close to the 75th minute of the match. In the end, here comes Kinstra moving the banner again to try her throw in. There's the throw in, and it nearly found itself in the back of the net. No one could get to it. And now that one off of Blackwood. I couldn't tell if they hit off her side or her face. Either way, Reese, she'll knock it back in. Parker Goins with it. Now to McKeon. McKeon shooting one just wide of the net. And Wooten came close to hitting her head on the goal there. Either way, there's a substitution here. As Paige Griffiths will come in for Ricky Walkling, and Walkling getting a much-deserved rest here this afternoon. She has been all over the place for the red and white. As the pack are well on their way to advancing to the next round of the NCAA championships as Wooten We'll put toe to leather there. There's a foul called on Arkansas. And it looks like that was Henshaw that was tangled up there. And so Keogh with the free kick for NC State. And we will not see a hat trick from King as she has done for the day. We may see another goal though as Rankin with the ball on the far side, working it towards the corner. She'll try to beat Reese. She'll center it to Henshaw. Henshaw back to Griffiths. Griffiths finding Porter. Porter up the field. Tried to get it to Schuster. Just missed her there. That'll go out of bounds in NC State with the throw in. Blackwood. Quickly to, looks like Rankin has it, but she got it from Johnson, and she will put toes to level with the left foot, and it was bound for glory. It hit the inside post and into the net, and you can bring out more red smoke. I was trying to see who made that pass, and it looked like that is going to be Mikhail Johnson who made the play, Kia Rankin with the goal. And you can put this one on the board. Ten career goals now for Rankin. And so Rankin makes it four to nothing, and the red smoke rises here in Raleigh. Four to nothing the tally. And they have sent a message to... 
this young SEC squad in Arkansas here today who continues to battle. They're going to try to get one at least. Here's Goins to the near side, tracking it down in the corner. She's surrounded by two players, that being Bonner and Rankin. And she'll kick it out of bounds with a goal kick. But it's 4 nothing, NC State cruising here at this point as we come down the back stretch of this one. As Taylor Porter done for the day. It looks like Kaylin Bach will enter back into the match. You may see some NC State players that don't typically play get in. As we're down in the 78th minute. There's Malum continuing to fight for every possession. Up the field they go as that one's just out of the reach. It looked like that was Nice who tried to chase it down. And it will be NC State with the goal kick. And so we have a substitution here. Looks like Abby Nice will sit down as Reed Sibley will return to the match, the redshirt junior from Carrollton, Texas. A lot of Texas influence on this Arkansas team. And in talking to their sports information director before the match, he talked about that a lot of their teams do get some a lot of players from Texas. Obviously, they want to get as many as they can from Arkansas, but there's a Texas influence. A lot of it's not that far from Texas to come to Arkansas. Fayetteville, very nice area. As Kinstra continuing the throw-ins via the flip. As they get it in the box, but NC State's right there, centering to no avail. Looks like Kanata was the one who retrieved that, but NC State was right there. Malum still battling. Nice job by State to get it away from her. Here's center to Johnson. Johnson tips it quickly to Henshaw. Henshaw to Rankin. Rankin looking to get another goal here this afternoon. Charging down is Bonner. And there's an offsides called on Maxine Blackwood. And a tough break there for NC State. They were ready to put one in there. Here's Parker Goins. Parker up the field to Doyle. Doyle just outside the box has Gutenberger on her. Doyle trying to get around her. Centering, and that one will be a goal. As Arkansas gets on the board, somehow that fit through. And Arkansas finally on the board. It's four to one. And it just bounced over. We'll see. This play again, you can see again, Doyle just simply flips it over and it somehow gets out of the reach of Wooten and that'll be in the net. And when they, I will see if they give an assist. I'm not sure they will. It'll be an unassisted goal by, by Stephanie Doyle, the sophomore from Louisville, Texas, now with five goals on the year. It's four to one. And if I'm Wooten, I'm kicking myself on that. You've played a perfect ball game to this point. You don't want to beat yourself up too much, but that was just a lucky bounce. And now they're up the field and another offsides by Maxine Blackwood. She had a step on Nice. And we're under 10 minutes here. And the pack looking to just hang on and move out. As we're in the 80th minute here. In Raleigh, now we're in the 81st minute, just switched off, pardon me there, as Griffiths off her head, chasing it as Schuster and Sibley, as Keo will chase it down and kick it out of bounds, and now Kinstra. will move the, she'll move the barriers to get her some more space for her flips. There's the throw in. And that'll be out of bounds and that'll be a goal kick for the pack. 
And it makes you wonder how many other players in the country use that as a regular technique as far as throw-ins. A lot of times, even in professional soccer, they treat throw-ins as just kind of getting it in. I mean, there's a real art to what she's doing. And I'd say a lot of athleticism, too, because I don't even think I could ever even try that. Now, remember seeing it before, but more or less as kind of a trick. And she does it. It's, it's part of a strategy. So we're in the later stages of the ball of the match with the pack up four to one. Arkansas has every single Razorback player on this side of the field as Ella Bonner crushes it out of play and Parker Goins had to kind of duck out of the way. And she will run to the out of bounds or to the out run out of bounds to get the ball. And she will earn a corner kick as Arkansas trying to perform some miracles, to say the least. The score three goals in 6.53 would be amazing. There's a corner, and that hits the top of the net, and it'll be a goal kick for the pack. And Parker Goins still looks as if she has some kind of a limp. And we never really got confirmation whether it was a shin or a knee or an ankle. And you hate that for her. She didn't really get to live out the full experience here. But, again, she's got a lot of time, three more years. And she had an excellent freshman season. And now she'll turn it over here, though, on a centering pass. And now the pack up the field. Johnson going to have a one-on-one -on -one with Harris. And Harris wins that battle. Again, Johnson did the sportsman-like thing and didn't try too hard to challenge because you, you can't kick the goalie. But a nice job there by Harris to keep that away. There's Rankin. Falls down. It was kind of an un unintentional trip, but you kind of have to call it as McKeon charged with that one. A sophomore from Garland, Texas. Scored a huge goal in the tournament win against Vandy. And had an assist in the win over South Carolina and the uh, win over Ole Miss. And that goal against Vandy. Was in the was the in regulation. And NC State still with five minutes to go, not backing down in any stretch of the imagination as Henshaw charging forward. Up the field she goes, Blackwood, she's got a chance if she can turn it. Now Blackwood to Rankin. Rankin will just center it. As Schuster had stopped her attack there and we're under five minutes here in Raleigh. And NC State off the volley. As Mikhail Johnson had it taken away from her. There's Arkansas still tracking down. Down to four minutes here at Dale Soccer Park. As Kia Rankin will just let it trickle out of bounds. Tori Kanata was certainly right on her. That's Kanata, a sophomore from Lando Lakes, Florida. As Bonner. Will casually throw it in, not of the flipping variety. And so Parker Goins throws it in. That's over Malum's head. Now Griffiths will simply chase it down. And Bonner clearing it into the stands. 
As time continues to wind down, NC State looking to advance to the next round, the round of 32. They'll do that in three minutes and change. We're in the 87th minute. Johnson, and they're going to call a push, a foul. As she and Christofferson got tangled up. And they may actually, I thought they were going to give a yellow card, but they're marking off the area. So it will be actually a free kick for the Razorbacks. They'll set up the wall as Parker Goins, just a quick pinball effort there to try to get Malum open. And Sidney Wooten chasing it down. 2.24 to go, we're in the 87th minute. NC State looking to advance. Paint this one red and white as the red smoke. They use plenty of it here today. Almost like Philadelphia in their football game last week, the Eagles ran out of fireworks. They scored so many points against the Denver Broncos. Another flip throw in by Kinstra. As we're under two minutes, swing and a miss by Schuster, centering pass to Malum. And Gutenberger just cleans up the trash there and clears it out. Here's Griffiths. She'll take it away from Kinstra. Heads back inside. Blackwood defended by Christofferson. And now Keogh will just play keep away. Doyle, again, not having it. Nearly had it where she could get it away from her, but a good job there by Keo to keep it alive. We're under a minute and a half here in Raleigh. NC State will advance to the next round of the NCAA tournament. They will take on Princeton. And in that game on November 17th, time to be determined. As we're down to a minute here in Raleigh. Here's Mikhail Johnson pushing it forward. Chased down by Goins. And Goins and Johnson get tangled up. Both fall down, but both quickly get up. Here's Sibley up the field. Here comes the Razorbacks one more time. Centering. It's loose right in the box as Wooten clearing it out. And we're under a minute here. Down to 30 seconds, and NC State will get win number 15 on the year. And the Pack, when they've scored first, they're 14-0, 10-0 when leading at the half, and now 4-0 when scoring four goals or more. And their record at home, pretty good. And you can see why. And with that, NC State has advanced in the NCAA championships. They'll go to the second round as they will face off against the team that beat them earlier in the year in Princeton. And we'll see where that match is going to be held. But NC State, thanks to Zierra King's two goals, did everything they needed to do to advance as Arkansas will end the year in tough fashion. But again, they have nothing to shake their heads about either. Losing in the SEC championship. And they've got a bright future ahead as well. Final score here from Raleigh as NC State will take down Arkansas 4-1. to one. This has been an exclusive presentation of the ACC Network Extra. As you look at the bracket, NC State and Princeton, second round action on November 17th. Again, we certainly appreciate you taking the time here on this wonderful Saturday afternoon as this has been an exclusive presentation of the ACC Network Extra in partnership with ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Have a great weekend. So long, everybody.